this job was more about uh, sacrifice. To me and my colleagues, we do always sacrifice ourselves. With the, our sacrifice and with the help of the project, in partnership with the GNPW, I think we will do something. The actual Rhino uh, monitoring team, their job is just to make sure that uh, they look after the rhinos. Challenges that we are facing at the moment, it is actually the issue of you know the poachers. They, they are giving us a lot of problems, but uh, we are managing. But equally, like the elephant, we've watched across Africa the, the threat and um, the rate of poaching increase exponentially from 2010 onwards. And then as this poaching kicked off, we suddenly realised we had to change. The game has changed and we've had to refence uh, the rhinos, unfortunately, um, into, a, into a much wider sanctuary. But the sanctuary is very large and it's working. We've now got one of the fastest growing black rhino populations on the continent. North Rwanda is a, a no-go zone area. Yeah, because here, you know, we are actually very serious with work. Yeah, because at any time, given time in the park, at least we have patrol teams. And the moment those they go out again, no gaps that remain. They have been number one in the country. They make me quite very proud, <laughs> really proud. And we've used these rhinos as a flagship for North Rwanda. We are able to generate funding, generate support, generate leverage based on the back of those black rhinos for everything from obviously the protection, but all the way down to schools and educational support. And the rhinos have really kind of led the charge. They've, uh, they're the flagship for North Rwanda, and obviously many people know us for the black rhino. I've seen that uh, a number of rhinos are in rapid rain, uh, growing. So expecting maybe by, by 2030 or 2050 we have a good number of rhinos and of which it will give uh, employment to the people of Zambia. Sure.